and now simply hide the these all planes and just display the plane number one so you have to click here and click on the hide simple one one only one click with the left hand button and then click on the like this hide and if you want to show any plane or planes you have to select them and then click on the show with the eye symbol that's all and now you can see that we have the plane number zero which is also hidden right now but you can also display it but only thing I am interested here is the this uh, arrow file section along with the center point and uh, so first of all you have to create the the plane the simple sketch so you have to create the sketch on the plane number one like this and you can see also sketch appeared here then second thing is that you have to click on the convert entities and uh, click on the select chain this is very important because this will select all the arrow file parts in a single go and then select the arrow file curve any one any one of the curves like this so it will select all the arrow file parts including the trailing edge the leading edge the upper surface lower surface but this will not select the this center point which we will use for making the twist angle and also we will scale the geometry around this point so select this point as well and uh, as, as, as soon as you select this point then click on this green tick mark and now this geometry will appear on the plane number one and then simply click on the this uh, selection uh, completion tool to just make the projection on the plane number one and after that as you as you can see from here in the this uh, file that for the plane number one, the, the rotation axis is at 30% chord length. And the second thing is that the twist angle is 20.04. And also one more important thing is that the global pitch angle or the tip pitch angle is 3 degrees. But we, but we will provide that angle in space claim, not in the solid box. But you can do it. So you have to, you have to just add the 3 degrees to the twist angle. So by adding this 3 degrees so 20.040 plus 3 will be equal to 23.04 and 18.074 18.074 plus 3 will be equal to 21.074 so your choice is yours either you can put the global twist global pitch angle in SOLIDWORKS or you can also do the same thing in the space claim but I will do that thing in the space claim you can you can apply that thing here Therefore, you can see that for section 1, and the, this is section 1 on the plane number 1, the twist angle is 20.04. So, I am going to edit this sketch first, because I just click on the, this uh, curvature arrow, and this will just end the sketching mode. So, you have to again go back into sketching mode, and edit the sketch. So, first thing is that, I will be using the move entities command so first I will move the command with the rotate option so you have to select everything except the this center point so just click on center point after selecting everything this will just remove the set the center point from the selection so we have the line number this line we have the spline number uh, four five on the top and the spline number six is on the leading edge you can see and center rotation is this point which we created at 30 percent of the chord length so this is the point here and the angle we are going to provide is the 20.040 20.040 okay so we have we are done with the angle now you have to just click on the this green tick mark but don't click on this arrow right now Again, go back to the move entities and from here click on the scale. Again, choose everything except this center point or center the point for rotation. And uh, then you have to put the value which is the point 737 and the scale about. So scale about is a point location around which we are going to scale the geometry. Choose this point 
and you will see that this is now scaled from the coordinate of 1 to the 0.737 and then simply click on the OK and now click on the this return mark and in this way we are able to create the all the uh, sketching on the plane number one. So now we are we uh, we have provided the the required twist angle and as well as the required core length. And now you have to do the same thing on all 21 planes. So you have to create the 21 sketches. Now after this one, because we already created sketch number one, so you have to create the remaining 20 sketches. You have to copy this uh, base profile on those planes on those sketches. And then you have to first rotate the geometry by the required twist angle at the given twist angle. And then you have to provide the chord length. So you have to scale the geometry as well. And this should be done up to this location, which is the, the last twist angle is a minus 1.815. And the last section to the chord length is a 0.356. And now I will close this file. This is the file number step three. So I will I will not save this file and uh, I will open the file from here the new folder and I will open the step number three and I want to see that that okay in this step number three we have the all planes and in the step number four basically we have all the sketches you can see so all these sketches are created with the same procedure that we have to provide the we have to first the uh, use the convert entities to copy the sketch on the new plane but you have to first create the sketch and then you have to project the base sketch on those planes those sketch on those planes and once you create them you have to provide the rotation angle or the twist angle and also you have to provide the chord length chord length on the each and every section that's all about this uh, this step and the next step we are going to create the blade out of these 21 sections using the loaf command.